here with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it. And if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment, and subscribe. Now, without further ado, get comfortable. Let's begin. Goku was training in a way never seen before. That's right, Goku wanted to get out of that room to defeat that guy who humiliated him in the worst way possible. Meanwhile, outside of the dimension, in the planet of Beerus, the Saiyan Vegeta was training in the same way to increase his power. But at that moment, Daishenken would appear in front of everyone. Father, has something bad happened? Not at the moment. But even the king of all Xenosama is nervous about Male's resurgence. What can we do, Father? The only thing we can do now is to wait for Male's power to reappear. Please keep me informed. Yes, of course, Father. Daishenken was about to leave, but at that moment, an amazing power would shake the 12 universes. This amazing power is from the great Xenosama. Apparently, he's fighting with Male. Wissabirus would be very surprised to feel that incredible pressure in the whole environment. Daishenken would quickly leave to the kingdom of everything. Flashback. If I want to finish that damn bastard, I have to do it when the priest is not with him. Because if they attack me together, they will be a real problem. Mail was waiting for the perfect opportunity to attack the kingdom of everything, until one day, he could observe how Daishenken was going to Universe 7. This is my chance. I'll finish with that damn dwarf. Mail would open a portal, teleporting to the palace of the kingdom of everything. Mail, without letting Xenosama realize his presence, had directed a great blow with which be able to leave him out of combat or even end his life. But one of his guards was able to perceive Mail being able to stop his blow. At that moment, both guards stood in front of Xenosama. Xenosama, stay behind us! Xenosama was surprised to see Mail again. So after many millions of years, you've returned. Who was the bastard that brought you from the underworld? So you don't know, because your destroyer gods were the ones who summoned me since they asked me to end the life of the Saiyan son Goku of Universe 7. You ended the life of my best friend? So, that mere mortal was your friend? The Guardians would start with their attack, and at maximum speed, they managed to hit him a few times. But their blows were only a breeze of hot air for Mail, who had already recovered all his power. At that moment, Mail would dodge one of the blows of a Guardian, and with great precision would give him a great blow that would leave him out of combat. Simple scum, you're no match for me. Mail began to give a beating to the other angel who could not do anything to defend himself. Mail again was going to knock out the other guardian, but the guardian could dodge it by a few millimeters and connect a great blow, sending him flying and, without wasting any time, he would charge a great attack creating a big explosion and raising a smoke screen. At that moment, the guardian would take his brother and at a supreme speed would go with Xenosama. Great Xenosama, we have no choice. Merge with us again to defeat Mail. That's what he's thinking. At that moment, Xenosama merged with his guardians. For a few seconds, the true king of everything had appeared on the battlefield. That's right, Xenosama agreed to his form of combat. Now we'll put an end to this once and for all. That's what a true opponent seeks. The moment Mail and Xenosama clashed fists, some planets would disintegrate. And flashback. Daishenken would arrive at the realm of the whole, being able to witness such an overwhelming battle. I can't believe the power they're giving off. Xenosama has gone into battle mode. Meanwhile, in the Void Dimension, there was Goku whose power had grown in a surprisingly incredible way. One thing that wretch was right is that this room is terrifying. Its simple pressure would have ended my life if I didn't have immortality. Goku would continue with his great training, which consisted in dominating all his internal energy. That's right, Goku's power was increasing in a way never seen before, since his body was adapting to all that pressure. But something much more incredible was that his body was creating another energy path, making his key reserves much more gigantic. Son Goku's power had reached a new level, achieving a state similar to the Ultra Instinct, but his power was hundreds of times more powerful. Returning to the battle, Xenosama and Mel were very even. However, at a critical point, Mel would stop one of his blows. 
You've already bored me, Zeno-sama. Did you think all this was all my power? I wouldn't make the same mistake twice. With that power, you defeated me, so I took it upon myself to overcome your power. Mel at that moment would create a giant sphere of energy which looked like a sun in his hands throwing it at Zeno-sama, who would try to stop it, but it would be useless, since the condensed power was incredible. Zeno-sama would stand up, but his power had decayed in an impressive way. You're a monster. We shouldn't have sealed you. We should have finished you and your miserable brother. Mel at that moment, annoyed, would throw himself against Zeno-sama. Divine Machine Gun! Mail would give him a rain of blows that seemed like bullets since Zeno-sama was not able to observe anything. No, 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 the king of everything has no chance of winning. Mail's power has grown in an overwhelming way. Daishaken would launch himself to attack, but Mail, with just stretching his hand, would cause the pressure to fall on Daishaken's body, making him fall to the ground and unable to move. You damned angel's no match for me, and you will be tortured. Especially by me, since your damn technique was the one that sealed my brother. I'll torture you until you confess to me what dimension he's in. Mel at that moment would take Xenosama by the neck, making a great pressure until leaving him out of combat. They turned out to be nothing more than simple worms. Mel would take Daishenken and would rise to the top of the palace of the Kingdom of Everything. At that moment, he would throw a large sphere of energy, which was intended to end the life of Xenosama. To the energy sphere, to be a few meters from hitting, a new warrior would appear on the battlefield, being so powerful that it could disintegrate the attack. Who the hell are you? How could you stop my attack? We're the fusion of all the divine beings, and we'll not allow you to destroy the great Xenosama. Kirosh, with a supreme speed, would be able to hit him with the first blow that would make him bleed. Miserable. That hit hurt me. I swear I'll exterminate you. Kirosh and Xenosama began to exchange blows at an incredibly expressive speed, causing many more planets to be destroyed by the collision of their fists. However, as the battle progressed, Mel was taking the advantage little by little, starting to give him a few good blows, making him fall to the ground badly wounded. This can't be happening. We've all merged to finish with this wretch. No matter how many ants unite, they'll never be able to kill a dinosaur like me. Mel would use a little more power in his punches, making Kirosh very badly hurt. Meanwhile, in the dimension, Goku was meditating until one moment to another, Goku was able to resonate with Vegeta's mind. Vegeta, can you hear me? Kakarot, is that you? That's right, Vegeta. I have a very bad feeling. Tell me, what's going on? Vegeta would comment everything that happened to Goku, including the powerful key that was overflowing all over the 12 universes. I understand, Vegeta. Please, keep me informed. Goku would continue meditating for a few more moments until, from one moment to another, his body and mind resonated again. But this time, it was not Vegeta. That's right, his mind had made a connection with an ancient beast. Who is this being that has interrupted my eternal sleep? I'm sorry, it wasn't my intention. That's strange. I cannot feel this person's presence, but he has an incredible power. Did you say something? Resonate with your power. If you're worthy, you could be my bearer. Goku would not understand what that voice said, but he would. That's right. Goku would begin to increase his power in the dimension, making the whole dimension tremble. However, at that moment, the beast would feel an overwhelming power. That's right, the power that Son Goku emanated was amazing, and the beast was able to feel it when he was in resonance. From this moment on, you are my bearer. No matter where you are, this infinite universe, I will seek you out and join you. I don't want you to be my beast, but could you help me in any way? Tell me, Master. Just call me Goku. I don't know if you could feel the Divine Key, but please, my friends and the High Priest are about to die in the hands of an angel. Uh, please help them! Don't worry, Master. I will go to the battle site right now. The beast would stand up and its form was incredible, since it belonged to an Ozaru ancestor. Its whole body was completely that of an Ozaru. Only thing that differentiated it was its peculiar purple glow. 
The beast, in spite of having its great size, began to move at an incredible speed, even surpassing the speed of the angels. At the moment that beast would arrive, it was able to observe a being on top of everything and other subjects which were on the ground very badly wounded. As I told you before, no matter how much power you possess, you'll never be able to defeat me. Mel would throw a slingshot of energy again, but he would tremble when he heard a loud roar which had made his attack disintegrate. What was that? Is there a beast in this place? A great tremor would be felt throughout the whole kingdom as Uzaru fell without warning. Everyone was surprised, not knowing what the beast was. Damn, that thing will kill us all. Ha ha ha! Damn beast, you must not have the ability to reason, so it'll be easy to kill you. Mel would throw a great sphere of energy at it. But he would be surprised when he realized the beast would be able to hold it with just one of his hands and make it disappear. I am the purple Zoro beast. My bearer, Son Goku, has sent me to protect this place. So go away if you do not want to die. Daishenka would be shocked to know that Son Goku was still alive. That damn saying that I locked up in that dimension must have died already. So don't try to fool me. I don't care who believes me. The only thing I have to do is protect this whole place. Let's see if you can do it. From your size, I deduce that you must be very slow. Mel would launch an attack, which the Ozoro did not dodge since they were not able to make any scratch on its hard skin. Is that all? You turned out to be a disappointment. The beast, in spite of having a great size, would move at a speed that none of the beings in that place was able to observe. With only one of its blows, it would send him to fly through the universe, and before he recovered, it would throw him a sphere of energy, which had left him very wounded, but without the risk of losing his life. The beast would disappear, but at that moment, a great explosion would illuminate everything, since the power executed was so amazing that not even the 12 universes could resist it. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video.